Mr. Speaker, in Northern Saskatchewan, every product on every shelf has a significant freight cost. Transport companies I met with last week have been forced to raise their fuel surcharges just to survive. That increase must be passed on, and the cycle of inflation spirals out of control. Life gets more expensive every single day. The government ignores this fact, but my constituents do not have that luxury. Mr. Speaker, what is the Prime Minister's plan for rising fuel prices? Will he, at the very least, cancel the scheduled increase to the carbon tax on April 1st? The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, we absolutely understand that inflation and affordability are pressing challenges for Canadians. We also know that this is a global phenomenon, not a Made in Canada problem. I want to ensure Canadians that we're working hard to make life more affordable and remind the opposition benches that eight out of ten dollars that sustained Canadians during the global pandemic came from the federal government. We are committed to addressing housing affordability. We will continue to pursue childcare. We will continue to increase CCB. On this side of the House, we're fo focused on affordability.